welcome. You're watching Midland Public Library's Math Minute. My name is Jennifer Whip, and I'm the Maker Place Coordinator here at MPL. Every week we'll be posting a video that features two things. First, a math principle, concept, or piece of foundational math knowledge that your child should learn in their early years. And second, an activity to help them practice, learn, and understand that math concept. In today's Math Minute video, we're talking about the Order Irrelevance Principle. The Order Irrelevance Principle is very similar to the Conservation Principle. Conservation Principle states that no matter how the objects we're counting are arranged, the quantity stays the same. Order Irrelevance Principle says that no matter what order we count the objects in, the quantity stays the same. So while Conservation uh, Principle has to do with what is being counted, Order Irrelevance Principle has to do with how the counter counts. Essentially, Order Irrelevance Principle states that the order in which we count objects is not important. It doesn't matter if we start from left to right, or right to left, or top to bottom, or bottom to top. That doesn't matter. Wherever we start in the counting process, the quantity of objects stays the same and does not change as long as we count each object once and only once. For example, I might have a blue, a green, and a red button. On my first count, I might start counting on the blue button. One, two, three. On my second count, I might start counting at my middle button. One, two, three. No matter where I start to count from, the quantity of buttons is always the same. This may seem like a simple concept for us, but children often really struggle with it. If you ask them to start counting from a new position in the set, they have to recount the set and they don't understand because what happens is whatever um, object that they start with, so if they start with that blue button, they tag it, they label it in their mind as number one. And they don't understand that any of the buttons in the set could be number one. Some children will even go as far as to insist that that blue button is number one and that they have to start counting from that place. So how can we help children to understand order or relevance principle and help them to break that tagging habit? Well, Start by having children count a variety of objects in their everyday life in a variety of different ways, touching the object as they count them. Um, frequent exposure to counting objects helps to develop this skill. When you're practicing counting with your child, try mixing up objects and having them count. Have them start from left to right and from right to left. Count from up to down, rearrange the objects and recount them. This will help them to understand that the order in which they count doesn't actually matter. Another tip for helping your child to better understand order or relevance principle is to make sure that um, the sets of objects that you're counting don't always look alike. Make sure that the sets also include miscellaneous items that don't have any commonalities. Um, so a set might be a teddy bear, two buttons, um, a blue sock, and a fork. As long as your child is learning that they can count groups of objects that don't all have to look alike, it's gonna help them to develop their order of relevance skills and it's gonna better prepare them for next week's topic, which is abstraction. This has been Midland Public Library's Math Minute, the program where we help your little one stay on track in math. Make sure to check back next week for more activities and principles for children in their early years. Bye for now.